when they are not studying, university students Emily Papa and Lisa Mariwia like to play around on TikTok. But recently they've swapped dancing for language tutorials and their videos are gaining tens of thousands of views. We came across this young um, Chinese lady who was giving out tutorials in her Chinese language. And we saw that and we were motivated and because we like speaking Hangen, our language, often we, we decided why not we do the same and teach other Papua New Guineans and Pacific Islanders our language. Hi guys, Hi. welcome to part four of learning the Anga language with Emma Licious. They've created a series of basic tutorials on Engen, the language of the East New Guinea Highlands. We didn't expect this, but this is this has reached um, like a global, uh, you know, views. So we're really happy. Um, we have no teaching um, experience of any sort. When we saw that people were so interested, and when we saw the increase of views, it was very surprising and shocking to us. Melbourne-based Alberta Sukoliana, who comes from the autonomous region of Bougainville, believes videos like these could inspire her children to learn their language. Overseas, we tend not to uh, speak our language. So my sons, uh, especially another, the old uh, younger one has been born here. He doesn't have any idea about our language. So I'm trying my best to keep that language going by teaching them. Considered the most linguistically diverse place on earth, around 300 of PNG's approximately 850 languages are endangered and some have no living speakers left. The rise of common language Tokpisin and the migration of people to cities and away from their traditional lands are the main reasons for the decline. By making videos, Emily and Lisa Murray hope to encourage others to maintain their language and culture. Why not we share our culture, share our languages, showcase our, you know, pride in what, I mean, who we are and show to the world what we have here. That's it. Yay. That's a new approach to keeping traditions alive for the next generation. Hilda Wayne, ABC News.